Hello everyone. I am myself Dr. Rajesh Gubba. I am the general medicine educator. In this short video, I'll be discussing the important auscultatory findings in patients with the aortic regurgitation. So if you take the heart sounds, the S1 is audible and S2 will be muffled. And in those individuals who have developed heart failure due to aortic regurgitation, there can be the third heart sound. And if you take the murmurs in aortic regurgitation, so we have one important classical murmur that is early diastolic murmur and the other two are the functional murmurs that is ejection systolic murmur and Austin Flynn murmur. Both of these are the functional murmurs. So if you take about the early diastolic murmur, it is a high pitched murmur which is a soft blowing murmur and it is a decrescendo murmur and it is heard best in sitting and leaning forward and it is best heard during the expiratory phase of respiratory cycle and the best site for which you can listen this early diastolic murmur will be neoaortic area that is third left intercostal space parasternal line and it is heard best with the diaphragm of the stethoscope and occasionally the early diastolic murmur of aortic regurgitation can radiate to the apex of the heart and that we call it as cole cecil murmur and if you take the two functional murmurs one is the ejection systolic murmur, which is bit systolic murmur. And the other one is the Austin Flint murmur, which is a mid diastolic murmur, which is a flow murmur. These are the important auscultatory findings in patients with the aortic regurgitation.